well everybody it's been a long time since i made a video and it is an absolute gorgeous day we're out here today it's about 8 30 in the morning and uh guess what no more rubber dinghy we got ourselves a classic 1965 sv14 14, 14 foot fiberglass The old Johnson, 40 horse, Electromatic. They're all rigged out, mine and plywood floor. It's just uh, minor repairs in order. But yeah, we're uh, we're finally back. Thanks for uh, thanks for sticking around and waiting for me. Gonna try some fly fishing today, and then some uh, some bobber fishing probably. Cast some lures, stuff like that. Came across this little spot. There's a nice little dip in the bottom of the lake and there was some fish marking on the sounder so thought we'd uh, pull over and give it a shot and uh, yeah I just finished rigging up a little bit of a schmozzle getting the boat in the water first time unloading it by myself so that was a little tricky lots to uh, lots to learn there but yeah we're uh, just gonna get more set up with another rod and probably tie some more leader on my fly because I'm only about 10 feet deep super pumped don't even know what to say uh, yeah, here we, here we go. Thanks for coming back and uh, stay tuned because hopefully we'll get some fish today. Well, we haven't really fished yet. Mostly just been messing around with all the rigging. But I'll tell you, sure beats pumping up a boat and paddling out here. The old girl runs pretty good. Still got some hiccups. But uh, we're working through those. It's a love-hate relationship. Had a hard time getting it running this morning for whatever reason. Fired right up and then didn't want to run. But we got her. A little determination, perseverance. And we made it out here. Lots of fish jumping this morning. Hopefully we can uh, entice one to bite our hook. We'll see. The day is young. Planned on putting out a pretty well a full day out here today. Get some snacks. Just gonna live in the boat for the day. Nice being able to stand up, walk around. Got nice chairs. Fish finder all rigged up. Change the game. Oof, nice fish back there. Hope you guys saw that. That was a beauty. drink my coffee, let that sit, and then reevaluate the situation here a little. And if anything happens in between, we'll flick you guys back on. Thanks again for coming out, and uh, stay tuned. Oh, oh, check this out. Didn't have the camera attached to me head, but uh, I got ourselves a beauty rainbow. Bleeding them out. He's already dispatched. He's good to go. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep fishing the spot because that was sick. Just smashed it. Good start to the day. We've been here about an hour. And uh, one fish in the boat. So yeah, let's just keep going. I'm gonna throw you guys back on the head mount and uh, you can get some live action here. See, uh, maybe we'll look into another one right away. So exciting. All right, let's do some fishing. Right 
right along the weeds. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a nice little weed bed right there. Kind of just trying to cast to it. And pull the fly out. But we got that last one. He was right by the boat. Like maybe 10 yards from the boat. Starting to get a little discouraged. I hadn't got any bites. Seen lots of fish jumping. Buddy across the lake was hooking into him. But then I heard him say something about red. So I switched to a red fly. And first cast, we smashed into a nice fish. Beautiful day, nice little breeze now. It's gonna be stinking hot though. It's supposed to get to 30 degrees, I think, today. But that's all right though. You can live with that. So we're back. Hopefully uh, start pumping these videos out for you guys more often. Um, it's fall fishing season's coming on now, so sh fishing should get really good. And uh, of course ice fishing. And I got a couple new tricks up my sleeve for that too this year. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to bringing you guys along with me. I think if this wind dies off a little bit today too, we're gonna fly the drone a bit, get that up in the air. Some epic drone shots of the lake and the boat. Can't really go wrong. I was gonna get really carried away today and bring my Coleman out here and make lunch, but I just bought a sandwich instead. So much easier. No need to get too carried away. It's not a whole lot of space in this boat. I mean, it's much better than my dinghy, but it's still, uh, still pretty crowded. So I'm gonna figure out what exactly needs to be in here and, you know, do a little bit of clean up because, I mean, there's enough room for me, but I wouldn't really want to have too many people fishing in the boat, at least not today, the style of fishing. But solo, I mean, dang. But yeah, I guess I'll, uh, guess I'll fill you guys in a little bit more on the old boat here. Uh, got it for a song. Guy was getting rid of it, just, you know, moving out of his farm and just had a bunch of stuff laying around and just happened to be on uh, the old Kijiji. So we, uh, we went down and had a look. Um, guy said it ran, hadn't run for a couple of years. We brought it back to the house, did a little bit of cleanup, sprayed it down with the hose, got all the all the scum off. I mean, you can see it still still needs a good clean and it's really sun faded, but I think we can get the color back if we just give her, throw some love at it. So pretty much ripped the motor apart, rebuilt it, and uh, a couple little hiccups here and there. She fired right up, but there's a nice one. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. Let's pause the boat, boat break, boat intro, and we'll uh, get this fish in, hopefully. And he smashed it. Go under the motor again. I like the motor today. Well, that's a good one, I think, guys. Look at that rod, Ben. Oof, sick. Live action. Anchor 
line. Come on over here. Come on over here. Let's get you out of the anchor. Back on this side of the boat. Come on. Back on this side of the boat. Come on. I don't want to horse him too much. Pretty good size fish, I think. Oh, he's coming up. Wow, just smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. We are recording, I hope. Oh yeah, we're recording. Oh man, I hope you guys caught all that between my jibber jabbering. Coming home for dinner. And the net. Another nice one. Another beauty. Really nice fat rainbows in here. Oh, that's a football. That is a football. Here, let's uh, let's get them out of the net. Try not to drop them. Look at that. Look at the football on that thing. That's incredible. You know what? I think we're we're gonna let that one go. <laughs> oh yeah. They like the red leech today. At least I think that's a red leech. Not really sure what it's called, actually. Anyways, how's that for some action, hey? Me yapping away, blah, 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 and then bang! Good stuff. Anyways, let's keep fishing. Yeah, there's fish sitting in here, boys and girls. Let's see if we can get them. Let's see if we can get them. Wind is kind of buggering me a little bit, but it's not too bad. Well, it's been a day, folks. It's been a day. Uh, I just had another little nibble. Um, it's been about four hours, since five hours since I caught a fish. And been fighting the wind. My anchor's absolutely garbage. Not heavy enough for the boat, so I have to figure out something there because you can't fish in the wind with no anchor. It's pretty much impossible. But we're back at the uh, the sweet spot here where I got those two this morning, and uh, first cast I had a pretty good hit, so figured I'd set you guys up on the tripod, and uh, you guys can have a little look see. Only got about 15% battery left, so it's not going to last that long. But I do have my other camera. So, anyways, we'll just. Uh, do a little bit of fishing, I guess. See what happens. Finally, the wind's half died down. It's brutal earlier. It's having a hell of a time. Almost packed it in, actually. Then I thought, no, no, you're all right. You'll be fine. Just grin and bear. It's not that bad. Could be worse. Could have to paddle. Anyways, yeah, not a bad day. Beats sitting at home. Bloody hot out. Look at that for free. Pretty hot for September. Uh, it's pretty 
pretty much on the end of its life. All right, though. Let me get the drone up. It's just way too windy, too sketchy. around in here. Crazy. Oh, stressful day. Fishing could be so stressful. Anyways, click you on if something happens. Nah, it's still fire season. Slightly terrifying. It's a big helicopter. Wow, it's a big sucker. No smoke anywhere, so that's a good thing, I guess. Not sure where he's heading, but we're staying right here. Oh boy, it's a grind. It's a real grind. A couple hits, switching up lures, tried leech, tried a chronomid. What else did I try? Blood sucking leech. Green leech, purple leech, black leech, red leech. Got a bite on the blood sucker. But, uh, oh, the wind calmed down now, so it's a little more manageable. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just putting in the time, I guess. Hoping to catch one more nice one. Figure if I get one more before too long, I'm going to take off, but... If not, we're just going to grind until, until forever. We might stay here forever, I don't know. Hopefully uh, the old girl will get me back to the trailer. Not a lot of faith, but uh, there's some there. So anyway, um, pretty quiet. So I'm just going to keep fishing, and if something happens, well, yeah, I said it already, but if something happens, we'll flick you back on. Pretty nice day though, I mean, no real complaining should be had because absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of cloud cover coming in now, so maybe the fishing will pick up. Pretty, pretty hot afternoon. Anyways, let's get back at her. You guys know the drill. We'll see you soon. I'm getting slayed right now, folks. Absolutely slayed. Good old bobber and worms. Ooh, it's a nice one. Let's see if we can get them in the boat. Oh, yeah.
Oh yeah! Oh, the old GoPro in the mouth there. Look at that beauty. A little bigger than the last one. Ha ha ha! Bobberin' worms works every time, folks. Tell you what. All right, let's uh, try not to drop you guys in the water here. Oh, barely had him hooked either. Holy smokes! Just on the outside of the mouth. Let's get him up in the boat here. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. What a gorgeous fish. Look at the color in that sucker. That one's going on the uh, stringer. On the stringer. Probably going to go in the smoker. What a beautiful fish. All right. We'll get you guys uh, turned off. We're going to dispatch this sucker. And we're going to toss another worm out there. Beauty. Look at that. Tip to the tip of the nose. To the tip of the tail. 48. Eh, 47 and 7 eighths. Pretty well 48. Pretty good sized fish. Beauty color. Right on. I knew it would pay off if I just stuck it out. Anyway, we're going to get him on the stringer and get back out there. Maybe there's more. More. Well. There we go, back out there with the bobber. <sighs> I mean, can't go wrong. Been at it all day long. Two on the fly, lost a couple on the fly, and just slayed that big one. 19 inches, 48 centimeters. Beautiful. I would like a little bigger one. I'd like to get one over 50, just because, you know. But beggars can't be choosers. We still got lots of hours of daylight left, and I got lots of worms. So we're going to uh, do some more bobber fishing, relax, it's kind of nice. Just let it sit out there, lay down, have some snacks, and uh, don't have to just keep casting and casting and casting. So. Pretty good, nice and warm, pretty solid, I was pumped, it was really good, really good. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, hey, we'll, we'll keep going, and something else comes on the uh, gets on the old hook there. We'll flick you back on. For now, I'm just gonna relax, enjoy the sunshine, and watch my bobber. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute slice. Great to be back on the water. Some fish today, some nice ones. I am bloody exhausted. A solid eight hours out on the water is. Plenty, especially in the sunshine. Anyways, I'm gonna get uh, organized here, pull anchor, get this old girl running, and uh, see if I can't get it on the trailer. See what happens. So, thanks for coming along. Might do a little outro by the truck, we'll see. But uh, anyways, cheers guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next one.